Welcome back. Now, one of the ways that you're going to be creating content for your products is going to be to do presentations. And in many cases, you will use Microsoft PowerPoint. However, on the iPhone, there's a native application available to you called Keynote. And so if you don't have it on your iPhone, what you can do is you can go to the App Store. You can then search for Keynote. And when you find it in search, you'll then click View and then you can press get. Now the app will take some time to download onto your device so you'll want to be patient. Once the app is installed you can then click open. You'll then have access to Keynote. You'll then click continue. And If you don't already have a presentation you'll click create a presentation. Now Keynote comes with presentations you can use as a template you'll want to choose which orientation you want to use. In most cases, you're going to want the wide angle presentation so that it will fit most screens. And in order to do a standard presentation, you can start with either a plain white background or you can use any of the other templates that Keynote gives you. In this case, we're going to start with the white presentation. And we would create our content as we would any other document we would tap in and then we would write in our content and once we complete our slide we can then add in other slides and all we'll need to do is to click the add button when we click the add button what you'll notice is that you're going to get several kinds of slides that you can add so the keynote makes it easy for you to create the content onto the slide in this case we're going to use an image and content so now what we'll do is we'll be able to tap in, create a title, and then content. Now you'll notice in the bottom right hand corner that there's a microphone available. That means that we can use speech to text. And so in that case, we're going to click the microphone. Marketing to families is easy. Period. And of course, as we type in, we can edit as we go. And of course, we can continue to add slides as we need them. And writing in our content. We do have other options at the top. You notice that we can put in different kinds of background. We can place in different kinds of text. And we can also arrange our slides the way that we want to as well as to create different paths on the slide. We can also add in other options and you'll see that there are other options in this menu where you have transitions, you can rehearse the slideshow and you can add in soundtracks and other elements. Now the document when it's complete is automatically shared into your iCloud Drive. You can see that when you go to your menu Click the share button and you'll see there that your presentation is already in your iCloud drive as it is stated. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.